okay integration of a constant now suppose we have if you look at this it's nothing but a into x raised to 0 right so suppose you have a of dx which means that it is going to be a into x raised to 0 so it's going to be a into x raised to 0 plus 1 upon 0 plus 1 which is going to be nothing but ax but remember if the integral is already ax then you are not going to take a again a will come out and it is x dx we are talking about integration of a pure constant hence it is actually every constant is nothing but a product of the constant and x raised to 0 we have this is also true in case of uh, differentiation so in that case we have a into x raised to 0 which is going to be hence it is going to be x a into x raised so for example integral of 7 dx is nothing but 7x plus the constant right remember always add the constant right so this is something which we need to be aware of say for example addition and subtraction to a particular constant so here suppose you have 3 plus k and you want to find the integral of this so it's going to be nothing but 3 plus k the whole into x plus k which is going to be 3x plus kx plus some other constants say c same is valid in case of 3 minus k let's take an example suppose you have 7 dx we can write it as integral of 3 plus 4 dx which is going to be nothing but 3x plus 4x plus constant there is nothing but 7x plus some constant hence we get it now this constant obviously is not the k mentioned over here it is some other constant much the same way in case of 3 minus k2 now here we have taken a case wherein you have to find the integral of 3 plus k into dx you may come across cases that after you do the integration you get a function g of x and plus the g of x may contain some constant 3 plus the regular constant k. So we need how to write it as 3 plus k. You can write it as g of x plus m itself. Because we are not concerned about what the constant is. So you can, we need how to write this as 3 plus k. See there is a difference between this and this. In this case you are finding the integral of a constant which is just an extension of what we did in the previous slide but here the mention is that suppose after integration you get a function plus another constant 3 plus the provisional constant we add as k we need to have to write the final answer or the statement as 3 plus k we can write it as another constant say m because 3 plus k itself can be called m so it's going to be say g of x plus m right same way in case of 3 minus k also can be written as m all right so as we do examples we will be clearer about these things right